as Babula, excellent rail job right there, but just could not finish. On the other end, Santa Ana running the floor. He will score! And be an impactful player para sa Saragani on the floor. Jay Colliado connecting with that high-low alongside Michael Mabuyak. That's something, Javi, that we have seen time and time again from Nueva Ecija. Patented play right there for Nueva Ecija because of the talented for the very first time in their home court. Sa Nueva Ecija po tayo sa darating na uh, Tuesday. John John Gabriel getting the second basket in for Sarangani. Receiving the ball up top. Lumalabas si Byron Villarias. Byron driving left. The kick out. Collado to three. Bombs away. Over halfway done in the first quarter. And Spalma. Miss Macaloni for the putback. Oh, there's that ability to steal. Mula kay Byron Villarias. Right now, Nueva Ecija putting on that vaunted pressure defense that they've been known for. Always a staple of every team that Coach Jerson Cabildes handles. Five-point lead. Espinas. They give it to Santa Ana. Losing space. He's able to find Barilao on the last second. Such a, by his teammates. Such a trusted player para kay Coach John Calios. Joining him from Caloocan to Sarangani. Here's Kit Jimenez. Looking for daylight. And there's a steal by Macaloni. No guy to beat. Macaloni will get that layup to go. Here's Gabi Espinas. We all know what this guy can do. There you go. Let's see that once again. There's that hook. Very obvious call by our referees. It is very... Hard. Running into trouble right away and turning the ball over. 14 to 10. Gabi Espinas facing up against Shaq Paganas. There's that jump shot. Way too easy for Gabi. Now that is something where he can beat Shaq Paganas. Basibas asking for it. He's going to have to give up a screen. Reggie Boy finding some space right there and he scores. 16 to 14. Two-point game, almost a walk for Laki Shaq Taganas. Palma, good play. Shaq could not score. Palma on the recovery, wala pa rin. And here come the Marlins. Donald Gumaru. Oh, good beat to Basibas. Basibas trailing Donald Gumaru. I thought Gumaru was gonna kick it out to Paul Sanga, but Macaloni going hard. To the hole, but an offensive foul called on Will Macaloni. Take a look at that replay. There was an extension of that forearm. Battle for the loose ball on the other end. Bodies were on the floor. Minute remaining in the first. Uiloan, last pass. A pass at the last second. And the beneficiary is Will Macaloni. Get the Macaloni for the deuce. There's a cut, Estrella. Here you go, great passing from both ends of the floor. This time it's Masiba scoring. Nine on the shot clock, 21 on the game clock. Oilon, looking for a teammate, decides to fire, and he misses. Good effort, Malaki Pamboy Raimundo. Almost stolen away, he's in trouble. Able to find Macaloni. Will driving, and he scores. Two seconds remaining. Getting Mamboy Raimundo with a good strip. Numbers. Para sa Nueva Ecija. And they do take advantage. Bobby Balocanag with his first two points in the ballgame. Ang walang kakupas-kupas na si Bobby Balocanag. Doy Estrella, he has been crucial para sa Sarangani. 16 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 steals in their previous game. Taganas with a kick out. Uylon fakes, passes. Raimundo, open three. Yes, sir. Masibas now in foul trouble. Although he is the leading scorer of Sarangani with six markers. Jonathan Eilon off of another beautiful feed. Now, Javi, the lead is up to 10 points. Trying to aggressively trap Kit Jimenez to get the ball 
out of his hat because Coach Jerson Cabildes is very wary of the capabilities of this guy as Espinas hits from straight away. Three points out for him. Gabby Espinas playing big time basketball for Sarangani. We all know that he is one of the leaders of this squad. But can he be that spark that they need? They're down by seven. Remundo will fire. Just hit a three a while ago. That's the second one. Guy can always get and a half minutes here in the second. Remundo feeling it a little bit, but he turns it over. Numbers for Sarangani. It ends up with the Dubise with a layup. And that's a rare miskew on the offensive end. That lets yes, it go. Screen up top, Mulaki, Michael Magula, Colliado, all down. One of the best in the league in terms of distributing that basketball. They go to Manala. Philip kicks it out. Colliado from the corner. That's another three. Sarangani is having a tough time. Will they allow the roll by Michael Mabula, who is, of course, a threat whenever he gets close to the basket? But JJ Colliado popping out as there is a jumper right there. That's going to count. By the call of the referee, there's a plus one here. And Santa Ana went down. On the screen, it's five out of nine already for the Vanguard. One out of ten lamang para sa Sarangani. That's three threes from Goliado. Dalawa, mula kay Pampoy Remundo. Six on the shot clock. Gabo, down to three seconds. Hesed, wow, what a feed to Byron Villarias. In terms of assists, talking about Hesed Gabo at 6.6 .6 per game. The Dubise had to fire, and he will score with that three. When you go up against Junmar Fajardo in practice every day, <laughs> then you, if you're going up against smaller big men, then maybe it's better than that. Minute remaining, bounce pass intercepted. Numbers on the other end, Michael Mabula, one last feed. A miss, Gabo on the putback. There is a three-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Keset Gabo. Setting things up. There's a screen. Malaki Palma doesn't use it. One second remaining. Gabo. Wow, what a shot from him. Stalizes. Let's see if this can do wonders for his confidence as Rico gets another tough shot inside the paint. Two baskets to his name. Couldn't make it three. Battle for the loose ball. It ends up with Sarangani. And that's a clear path to the rim by Jordan Santa Ana. Like what happened in that previous possession, I got going in a much less rebound. <laughs> Bill Bacaloni answering back here. Rebound Bacaloni. Forward pass, big guy ahead. Abula for two. Here's Rico. They swing it to Iloan. Good block. Recovery by Iloan. Malfoy, two threes to his name. Make that three. They go to their other. Best three-point shooter in Oiloa. Then proceeding inside to Wiko. Good feed, Mulaki Mabula. You could just see the awareness. Soldering the offensive load solely by himself. He has to realize that this has to be a total team effort because he has to make the defense of Bebeisia guessing as the Rice Vanguards get another point. The floor, and he falls down. On the other end, Sanga, three seconds to go. Paul Sanga, he gets that layup to go. And that's going to do it for our third quarter action. Jack Lagana is getting some cheers. Welcome back, mga kaliga. Again, we are here in the Orion Sports Complex. there's the effort. Mula kay Reds Palma. Another chance for Neva Isia. Palukana gets side. It just amazes and me. No signs of Ivan Ludovice or Kit Jimenez. Going back in this game as Gabon knocks down that jumper off that screen. Well, and you're being led by one coach, Gershon Cabiltes, who sometimes gets red <laughs> when he's too animated. Just gotta love the passion from that three right there for Kitty Menes. Still stuck at five points. On the other end, Michael Pico, clear path to the rim. A very tough never see a squad and Jana also mentioned there has been a lot of scouting mula sa ating dalawang coaches and to your point Javi it's gonna be his challenge how can he adapt his game no 
other player has stepped up offensively. And here's another horrible transition. Let me see it just making Sarangani pay over and over again. Jimenez with another three. But those inside points that you just saw, 52 compared to 32, big plus 20, Javi. Oh, they are the league leaders in inside points. And it's no surprise just with the front line that they have. And this is one guy who hasn't seen a lot of action yet this season. It is Icard de Rije. You don't know what he can do. Former player of UE, used to play for Gessen City. Good passing right there. And it ended up with a Shaq Tanganas. One thing's for sure, his stats are going up. That can help him individually. Uh, maybe th these might be one of the few positive things that Sarangani can draw from this game, especially Tosikit Jimenez. Now that he's found his stroke, but of course, you know, th this time it doesn't really matter anymore because this is, as you say, garbage time. Nueva Ecija just having a very comfortable time anticipating what Sarangani will do <laughs> as Kitty Menes knocks down another three-pointer from way out. 18 coming from this quarter alone. Well, if he had done that with maybe... Kitty Menes has to do a different level of Tracy McGrady at oh, yeah. this point. <laughs> <laughs> maybe even more. <laughs> That's going to be a three-point shot here for Sarangani. <laughs> They're still making their shots every after their games. Now, it's 87 to 79. It's an eight point lead, but it doesn't tell the story, especially in the second half. Exactly, you know, the final score doesn't really, as you said, tell what happened during the game because the lead was up to as high as 24 points. And most of the catch up that Sarangani did to cut down that deficit happened in garbage time. So this eight-point deficit, this eight-point win by Nueva Ecija